Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eadore, Masters of the Broken Realm from Aurora Difficulty. So, on this neutral shard we are a bit in trouble because uh, we have uh, problems with popular population with everywhere. We don't have uh, enough good locations for this part of the game. So, I'll try to continue somehow. We still have some targets but... Uh, no easy fight, so hopefully it will still work somehow. I would like to clear uh, this dark cave. Then I was thinking I will try the harpy nest. I will at least have a look there because I think if there are only three harpies guarding it, we might be able to do it. So I will check that. Would be really decent boost to our uh, to our treasury, and also we should be able to get a lot of experience from that. So. Uh, I will at least check how many guards there are and after that I will try to take all the provinces in the first train. I'll have to reconquer this one but uh, I'll use this fight more like to heal my army if uh, I go there you know, with uh, damage units which I expect that I will have some, some uh, damaged units uh, after the fight with uh, harpies so I will use this fight uh, more like for healing because I don't expect that many units there and then I will try these barbarians, uh, and probably I'll have to go after this uh, uh, free settlement again because I think that uh, they will they will uprise in like two turns and we'll lose them again. Uh, but that's just the plan, and you'll see how it will go. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong, and uh, I'm really not sure how I'll be able to handle those uh, those harpies. But we'll see. Let's start with orcs. Uh, I'll check my spells. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I will stick to this. And are you exploring? You are. Okay, so let's uh, end the first turn, or maybe before that, no, one more turn for Dark Ritual. I can use the Dark Ritual here uh, without any problems like concerns about population mood. It can't be worse, so I can just spam it on this province and uh, hopefully we'll get some extra gems. Okay, but enough talking, let's start playing, end the turn, and see uh, how these orcs are gonna look like. Only four of them, okay, well, that should be quite an easy fight. Uh, <laughs> how do I do this? Uh, I need to heal this guy, so let's do it like this. And start. Okay, I think I can wait a while uh, before I start casting anything before they get to me a little bit. Uh, yes, still have like two turns. Maybe I can cast the first fatigue on this guy. He has uh, 12 stamina, so I can do it. Okay, uh, one more. I think here I can do it. He still should keep uh, He still should keep moving. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, fail. Well, now I have to cast it on this guy. He is in range, so he will definitely move closer. And one thing I really don't like is this guy will now move on this hill and will start attacking my healer. And that really sucks. Okay, what can I do against that? I'll probably have to use uh, the remaining fatigues on him and let this guy come to me. And he'll probably do quite a lot of damage. Oh, well, not that bad. Yep, as I expected. Okay, let's weaken him further. Maybe let's start attacking here. And go. Okay, now I can focus uh, on this guy with uh, the cure wounds I have. Uh, the healer should be able to handle the damage here. And from time to time I can even attack. Always the the that orc that uh, 
won't have any stamina. Um, maybe I'll even wait for that. What if I attack, take the counter attack and heal after that? That's probably the best way. Okay. Next. What I don't like is uh, the witch doctor coming onto this tile. If he gets in the range of this guy, they will, they will both attack at the same time. That could cause trouble. So maybe what I can do is focus my attacks on this guy uh, okay that looks good and I think I'll be fine here runes once more mm -hmm. you will kill this guy you will attack here because I don't want this guy to move and let's do some damage and everything looks good. Ouch, that hurt. But I think I should be able to survive this. Let's use uh, the astral energy. You will help. Uh, you can still attack here. And let's use another heal. Still taking a lot of damage. Uh, re stamina. I think I should be fine if I keep attacking. I should run out of stamina. But I may eventually have to move this guy closer to my healer. I still have two heals. Hmm. You will rest and. I will wait with the healing for now. Okay, I think we are fine. You attack here. And you can attack as well. Okay. I want to move already. I know that uh, my hero will get attacked then. I think I have to stay. And that really sucks. Okay, now it's the best time to move and heal. I will even wait one more turn. Hope this guy is uh, not gonna attack. No, he is. Ah, crap. Oh, never mind. Uh, I really wanted to try to heal once more. So, let's have a look. Uh, do we have anything from this? Definitely don't want this medal. And that's all. Okay. Um, it would be nice to get more uh, orders of the Defender. That would, that would definitely help a lot. Keep exploring. And what was that? Oh, hello, these goblins. That will probably be a good fight to heal up a bit. Uh, let's uh, change some spells. Maybe I can come on. Get rid of uh, two fatigues and uh, take burn ammo twice. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, I know that uh, I can just uh, hold control and uh, grab uh, more spells just by clicking on it, and it will automatically be added to my spellbook, but I'm just uh, so used to taking this uh, manually that I always forget it and that's probably not gonna change, so excuse me for that, uh, I hope it's not pissing you off that much, just uh, I'm really used to do all the things manually and uh, yeah, probably not gonna change after like 
over 1000 hours played in the uh, Genesis and Masters of the Broken World uh, like this. It's really hard to change things that you are doing the same way all the time. But that was just the thing I wanted to mention now when I was uh, grabbing those spells that uh, you don't have to keep reminding me uh, <laughs> the chance that it's gonna change is really low. Okay, now let's get back to the game and um, go after these goblins. Should be fine there. Uh, can I build anything? I think I can grab this in. Uh, we should be fine. And we get the first guard from that. But I think I will save it for this province. I will use this one for a while to get more experience from time to time. What I can do is uh, use Dark Ritual now, 30 gems, that's perfect. How long for Chalice? Two more turns, okay. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to heal without Chalice. Four. Okay, that should be uh, a really, really good option to heal everything up. Uh, you can move the healer, you will st stay down there, and let's start. Uh, the most important thing is to burn all the ammo of the spitter. Once that's done, we should be more than fine. And let's heal. We will probably take some damage from those goblins, but uh, nothing we wouldn't be able to handle. Okay, here's one more shot. Let's uh, burn that as well. I'd really like to heal everything up before I go after those gargoyles. Uh, even if there is only three of them, it still will be really risky. And uh, I want to do that as safe as possible if we're going to go after that. With all these limited options we have, uh, like still we have, uh, I don't know, two targets now. So I have to go after some more risky fights, and those fights we have available, it's basically to reconquer uh, that uh, one free settlement and then try those barbarians. There are some uh, locations, but uh, you have no idea what that is. So I have to go after some more risky, uh, more risky fights and uh, just try to uh, try to go through those uh, the, the disadvantage is if I underestimate the fight I can lose my units uh, and that would be horrible losing my uh, trained swordsman the advantage is if you can go uh, or if you can defeat such a hard, hard uh, or strong armies early uh, you can get a huge boost uh, right from the start. Sometimes uh, when you don't have a choice and you have to go after armies like that, you can even like in the end have a better start than you have uh, on shards where you have uh, more more targets like brigands because you are you are just forced into those fights and uh, if you manage to go through them you get a lot more experience much much faster so in the end it's beneficial but uh, yeah it's a huge risk and um, as long as i want to play without reloading um, uh, i have to be really careful what i go after uh what do we have oh nice level up uh, more magic that will definitely help. And here's a question: magic power or concentration? Uh, I think I'll still stick to concentration. I would really like to see thaumaturgy. It would be awesome to have that to increase the effectiveness of uh, fatigue. Okay, let's grab this and level up. So you'll get uh, resistance and astral energy. Another one. Well, I think I'll keep the scroll. Maybe um, it won't be even necessary to build uh, the school of sorcery for quite a while. I will have to build it eventually because uh, I just can't go without uh, without extravaganza and access to uh, uh, astral energy like 
any amount of strategy I want. I'm not gonna get uh, enough scrolls. But uh, here from the start, we can definitely go with two astral energies, and maybe we can change the priority. Build probably school of wizardry before the school of sorcery. Hmm. Or what about the crystal force? That's um, actually a good idea. I think I have enough gems now to build it and uh, before I try those harpies I'll actually uh, grab a quest with a bit of luck that's another thing that could help a lot and I, what I want to check what was the next uh, what was the last thing we had just found more necromancers probably. Okay, that's not a good target. Well, so the plan is uh, still the same. Harpinists uh, next, uh, right after the crystal. Okay, don't have to do anything here. So what's on the turn? And what's that gonna be? Zombies. Well, that's not bad. Okay. And uprising, yeah. Okay, so it was this as well. Um, once we are done with uh, these locations in the capital, I will just uh, go through all these provinces and reconquer them. Okay, Harp is next, and I'm pretty nervous. Actually, I would even be. Uh, it would be even better if there were four, gar four harpies and I would just go away because that's uh, not doable than to risk the fight against three, which is something you or or we can maybe do with this army. It's really risky. I will try it, and it can end as a horrible disaster. <sighs> so let's go. And the turn. And. Yeah, what's that gonna be? Four, three, come on. Okay, three of them. And as I, uh, I said that I will attack if there is three of them. So let's try it. We need to survive like... Uh, first three turns when they get to us. If we survive that... I think I will be able to... Uh, weaken them a lot with uh, with my fatigues and everything will be fine. And now when I'm thinking about it, I forgot to swap from uh, from the burn ammo to more to more fatigues. Perfect. So this really isn't starting that well. Ah, oh, let's see. Uh, this harpy has resistance of two, so probably this one I will leave with full stamina and I will just heal through the damage this one will uh, will do but uh, yeah three fatigues well that was the first mistake okay 10 10 it doesn't really matter where, where I start let's start here and now it will be really dangerous what seven hit points holy cow uh, this is much better, but how the hell is it possible? I've taken so much damage here. Okay, change of plans. Uh, I have to attack here. Uh, I want to. I want this gargoyle to uh, get tired as fast as possible, and I just have to use Q runes. And I hope this guy will survive next turn. Uh, this harp is already weakened. That I have no idea how is it possible that it dealt so much damage with the first attack. Okay, next. I wasn't that bad, but now it'll take a. Oh my god! Okay, but we are still alive. Now I can weaken this gargoyle, uh, I mean Harpy, really a lot. Last point of uh, stamina. And a uh, nice heal. That really helps. Uh, cure once again. We are back to 14. And let's see. Okay. Come on. 
Um, I think I'm fine. I just uh, keep this uh, harpy alive because I definitely don't want to allow the, these two harpies to focus on this guy. At least uh, until I weaken them. So let's focus on this one. Uh, I'm really even tempted to actually attack it with both these two guys. And if I do that, then I could attack this one as well, be a bit more aggressive. Two of them will be exhausted and there will be probably no way how to be able to kill anyone. Okay, let's do it. You can do it as well and you can attack here. And I hope that I'm safe now. I should be. Okay, I can survive that. Now, let's use last fatigue here. Perfect. You will die. I will heal this guy and let's do as much damage as possible to this uh, to this harpy. And now the unit that's in danger is uh, this guy, but uh, he's on the hill, so his defense is a little bit, a little bit better. I think we should be fine. This guy will take uh, a bit of damage still. Oh, expected a bit more. Good. So let's kill this. You can move forward, attack, use astral energy, attack once again, move the healer, heal here, and attack. And next turn we will finish it. Okay, so this worked. I was a bit nervous there, especially the second turn where we were left with two hit points. Uh, it looked pretty grim there, but uh, we have survived and I hope it was worth it and we will get something decent. So let's have a look. You will get counter attack, medal for resilience. Here I will probably take it because we are not getting medals uh, or we are not getting the medals we want, and uh, this medal is not bad. Yeah, I can't check uh, if this guy has or doesn't have medals because it's still bugged. At, uh, uh, prefer to get uh, only medal for uh, uh, the Order of the Defender or Heroes Crosses uh, and stick to those two medals but in this situation I just have to take it I can't wait. Uh, well this is a useless, useless level up for a healer okay let's grab morale then but this is good perfect another medal and what do we have 255 uh, gold 17 gems steel ring well we can use it but uh, won't help that much. Enchanted Blade. I think I'll just uh, sell both of these things. Uh, those are quite decent items which are not that useful to us at the moment and we should be able to get a uh, significant amount of gold from them at least in our, uh, our current situation. And we have found another location. Well, at least we are getting more locations. Keep exploring. Question is, uh, what are we actually getting? Minotaurs. Okay, that's not a target. I want to attack for a long time still. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'll do something like. This and two more fatigues. Yeah, this looks good. And I'm definitely gonna sell this and the ring 42. 42 gold is quite a lot uh, at the moment, so I will get rid of that as well. And we have almost 400 gold, that means we can build some more buildings. I'm almost considering the school of this iron dream. Magic armor, and magic weapon are quite tempting, but I would also like to get 
uh, merchant court. No, but we'll have to wait. I'm not sure what I want to build right now. I will probably have to go after the school of SRG that uh, magic armor will help a lot in many situations. Okay, let's do it. And it means I will change the spell setup a little bit. Probably get rid of these two fatigues and take one magic armor and one magic weapon. Okay. So we are done with spells, we are done with locations here for a while probably. I definitely don't want to go after anything else. Maybe those clerics, but I don't think we have enough damage for that and if those monks there will start shooting at us, uh, it will do a lot of damage. So I hope I'll be able to get uh, some more levels from these provinces before I have to go after more locations. Okay, next target will be here. Uh, we should be able to uh, heal up everything. I really don't expect any problems. Uh, and what about enchanted coffer? 19 gems? No, that's too expensive. Still don't have uh, that many gems. I need both gold and gems. And gems are probably even a bit more important at the moment. We have only 25 left. Okay, go. I know that uh, this part isn't going as fast as some of the previous ones, but uh, I have to focus a bit more here and think about everything twice, because we uh, really, really don't have that many options and I just can't afford to fail. Uh, okay, let's heal our guys. And I'll try to do this without uh, wasting any gems, so only with fatigues. I can still wait. I th okay, now it's probably time for a first fatigue. I'm really not afraid of the melee damage. Uh, the slinger will hopefully stay where he is, and maybe I can even brush this a bit and uh, start attacking. Okay, one militiaman down. Okay, this guy doesn't have his spear anymore, and. Uh, okay, let's do it like this. What are you doing there? Come on, just move on top to, on top of the hill and start attacking. Yeah, this is what I needed. Good attack. Heal the damage. It would be nice to get another medal for a healer. You can attack here. And the fight's over. That was really easy. Uh, everything is healed up. So we are ready for some tougher fights. And even this guy uh, should get a level up here. At least I hope he'll get a level up. Yeah. Uh, here it is. And we got a parry from it, so that's not bad. We'll keep exploring. Oh, and we are done. And the level up. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, no boost to exploration. Well, let's grab archery. And what the hell is this? Uh, oh, we have a hero there. Which I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Uh, okay, how do I do this? 
Again, it's a good um, opportunity to get some experience for free, like it's a second fight in one turn, so that's not bad. But uh, I'm not sure if I want to fight three barbarians. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, let's uh, position this guy here. Who has the defender's medal? That's here. This guy is the weakest, will stand here where he can fight only against one barbarian, but he will get shot. Um, by the shaman. Okay, I will boost this guy with astral energy. A hero will stand here and he will hide here. Hmm. And let's see. Oh, wait. Do I have burn ammo? I do. Uh, time to use it. At least something. Oh, I say something and he burned everything. Okay, that will definitely help. Uh, next. Who is gonna come first? This guy. So let's use fatigue on him. I don't have enough fatigues for this. Oh, come on. Didn't want this guy to come like that. Well, I can still do it. Next fatigue. Perfect. She just wasted some of his uh, some of his stamina. And how do I do this? Uh, one more fatigue for this guy, maybe. He will go against this swordsman, and like that, uh, it will be uh, safe. And I should be able to handle it down here with the healer uh, against one barbarian with full stamina. I can eventually use that magic armor. Okay, let's do it like this. I think we are fine. That burn ammo really helped a lot. Why are you not moving? Let's do it like this. Let's uh, move the swordsman then. Okay, and what do we have available? Magic arm, magic weapon, astral energy, cure wounds. Uh, let's just wait. Maybe heal this guy. Okay, now I guess this guy will throw his axe on the healer or hero. Okay, that's fine. You can keep attacking here. Go. No problem. Ah, this guy is uh, berserking. That will be some extra unnecessary damage. But, well, they are barbarians, so... You have to handle them with the berserking. Okay, next. Oh, so it's fine. And like that, they can't focus their attacks, so no problem at all. You can keep attacking. Do I want to focus attacks on this guy? Oh, let's just wait. Oh. Now they can focus their attacks, and you can see that the damage is now uh, a lot more significant. But nothing we can't handle. Let's finish this, this, and this. And, yeah, one shaman to go. And he's dead as well. Okay, so it wasn't that bad, some free experience. Um, no level ups, no, uh, no medals. But we are closer uh, to the next level thanks to this. And um, this also means that I shouldn't be nervous about attacking this province because we can easily handle barbarians. Just perfect. But that will have to wait for the next part. I was really hoping that uh, I'll get uh, all the way to this province. But uh, yeah, there were two unexpected fights that slowed us down a bit. But we are still somehow progressing further, uh, so we still keep fighting, which is important, so uh, our hero and our units are getting more and more experience, and we are not staying that far behind the AI, so hopefully in, this in the next part uh, we'll still be able to continue with that. What I am a bit nervous about are uh, 
provinces we have around in the second train. Nomad steps, barbarian tribes. Uh, this I think are either nomad steps or barbarian tribes. Definitely not the free settlement. This I think are deadly swamps, goblins, nomad steps. So no easy way uh, into the second train. Hopefully there will be something here, but if it will be another like barbarians, then it, we will have some really hard times breaking through that. That's something I'm a bit nervous about, uh, but that uh, is actually still quite far away. So our immediate concern are these uh, provinces around. And maybe I will have to decide, or not maybe, I will also have to decide uh, what's going to be the next province I'm going to explore. And you know what? I think I'll be this one uh, because these two provinces will have uh, some problems with population mood. They are gonna price like uh, every three turns. Uh, these barbarian tribes. Uh, that will be another option, but we don't have the province yet, and I don't want to wait one turn. So I will explore here. Okay, you will move to this province, and we are ready for uh, the next part and i hope you join me there hope you like this one and uh, until next time uh, have a good time and bye bye